Good morning, students. I hope you are keeping safe at home. Our lesson for today is convenience food from Unit Three: Principles and Method of Food Preparation. On page two hundred and forty-seven to two hundred and forty-eight. Let's begin. Have you ever heard about convenience foods before? Let's refresh your mind. So, what are convenience food? We all know that food refers to edible substances that comes from plant and animals. Not to forget. That they can be in a liquid or a solid state. In the term convenience, there is the word convenient. Convenient means doing things with ease, meaning without any difficulty. But what is made easy to us? Firstly, it's the preparation of food. Secondly, the cooking process. Is also facilitated, and thirdly, the consumption of food is also made easy for us. So, we can define convenience foods as foods that has been prepared partly or wholly by the food manufacturer to facilitate the ease of preparation, cooking. And consumption. So, can you think of some examples of convenience foods now? I'm sure you can. Just open your pantry and refrigerator, and you will have lots of examples. So, what can you see? Canned mushroom, canned sweet corn or maize, canned tuna, canned peas, baked beans in tomato sauce, canned pulses such as lentils, rogai, tomato puree, bottled milk, dehydrated potato, luncheon meat, corned beef or mutton. Minced meat or chicken. Some more examples are burgers, sausages, frozen mixed vegetables, sauces including tomato ketchup, chili sauce, soya sauce, etc., and not to forget frozen pizza. But this does not stop here. If you have internet facility or brochures from supermarket, do further research about other examples of convenience food. You did a great job in listing some examples of convenience food. But do you know that convenience food can be classified into three types? They are: firstly, ready-to-eat foods; secondly, Ready to cook foods, and finally, ready to use food. Let's take a look at each type in more details. Ready to eat foods are foods that are edible without additional preparation or cooking. That is, it is already prepared. No mixing of ingredients or other cooking is needed. Only the heating up of the food is sometimes needed. An example of ready-to-eat food is canned tuna. Ready-to-cook foods means that the food needs some preparation or cooking, otherwise it can make you sick. Another important information about this type of convenience food is that the instructions to prepare or cook the food are usually given 
on the package. An example of ready to cook food is frozen pizza. The last type of convenience food is ready to use foods. These foods can be eaten as it is, meaning straight from the package. No cooking or preparation is needed. An example of ready to use food is grated cheese. Time now for an activity to check your mastery of the types of convenience food. Pause the video, copy the question in your copybook and answer. You can choose to answer in a tabular format. Now, let's correct together. For ready to eat foods, the answers are canned peas, lunch and meat, baked beans, canned lentils, corn mutton, canned corn. For ready to cook foods, the answers are dehydrated potato, frozen peas, minced chicken, frozen pizza, fish fingers, and macaroni. And finally, for ready to use foods, the answers are grated mozzarella cheese, ketchup, sweet and sour sauce, cakes, biscuits, and ice cream. Let us now discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of convenience food. Let's take a look at the advantages first. Convenience food help us to save time and energy. Nowadays, both parents are working and therefore they do not have much time or energy to spend in the preparation of elaborated meals. Convenience food therefore come handy. It is quick and easy to use to prepare a meal. There is also less wastage. Let's take for example a broccoli. If we buy a fresh broccoli, we have to clean it and discard some parts of it. But if we use frozen broccoli, then no wastage is made. In case of emergency, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, we do not have access to fresh produce. So, having convenience food helps. Or if an unexpected guest comes to visit us, it is easy to use convenience food. Some convenience food have added nutrients. For example, bottled milk is fortified with vitamin D and butter and margarine are fortified with vitamin A and E. Having more nutrients in the foods we consume help us to prevent deficiency diseases. Finally, we can see that on the market there are various types and brands of convenience food available to us. Therefore, we have a wide choice. Convenience food have also many disadvantages. Firstly, convenience foods are sometimes more expensive, meaning it costs more money. The instruction on the package should be carefully followed otherwise it can affect the finished product. Most of the time, the number of serving, that is for how many people the dish can be served, for convenience food is rather small. And if we have a large family, it might be difficult to feed all members, unless we buy multiple cans or packets. So, it comes back to the first disadvantage, which is it will cost you more money. During the manufacturing process, products are heated and packed 
and some nutrients might get lost, especially the water-soluble vitamins B and C, which are not replaced. Therefore, it is a disadvantage for us, as these vitamins are not stored in our body and should be eaten in our diet. Finally, convenience foods are high in fat, sugar and salt and they are low in dietary fiber. Canned foods usually are preserved in a brine solution, which is a salted water or a heavy syrup and are packed with fat. Hence, consuming a lot of convenience food increases our intake of fat, salt and sugar, which are not in line with the dietary guidelines. It can also result in the development of non-communicable diseases such as obesity, diabetes, heart diseases and hypertension. We have learned in grade 8 that dietary fiber is very important for us to prevent constipation, hemorrhoids and colon cancer. As convenience food are low in dietary fiber, these problems might occur. So how to incorporate convenience food in our meals? As we have said earlier, convenience food tend to have a high salt, sugar and fat content. Therefore, they should be used carefully. It is advisable to mix the use of convenience foods and fresh foods. We can use ready-to-eat foods as followed. Canned beans on toast with an egg with salad. Tomato sauce on our pizza base and rougail in our farata, dal puri or tipuri. Ready-to-cook convenience food can be used as followed. Dehydrated potato can be used with egg, cheese and milk and herbs to make potato puree. Minced meat can be used to make burgers, filling for pies and bolognese sauce for pasta. Ready to use convenience food can be used as followed. Cakes such as sponge cake or mass pain and sauces such as custard or chocolate sauce can be used to create desserts with yogurt or cream. To check your understanding, work out these questions. Copy the questions and answer them in your copybook. Let's correct! Well done! We have reached the end of this lesson. I hope that you have enjoyed it. On this note, bye! If you have any questions, leave a comment on the page.